Welcome to Vinny's Edo World. Today's topic is divisibility rules. Yes, rules. We have rules everywhere, isn't it? In maths also, we have many rules. Just like a puzzle that you solve, in the puzzle you get set of rules, isn't it? The same way we have to follow a couple of rules in maths also. So what we are going to do in today's session, we will be learning some divisibility rules. We all are familiar with division, isn't it? From second grade or third grade onwards, we have started doing division. Long division, small division, big numbers, small numbers. But what if we get to know some idea that we don't have to do long division. Just before that only we tell, is this number divided by 2? Is this number divisible by 3? What if the situation is like that, that we get the answer before we do the long division? Right? So we are going to do that today. So let's get started. Come on. So let us start with number 1. Is there any rule for number 1? No rule. Any number will always be divisible by 1. I am correct. Right? In one table, all the numbers are there. If you take 56 also and if you divide it by 1, 1 into 56 gives you 56 and the remainder is 0. So, 1 is a factor for all numbers and there is no rule for 1 because any number will be divisible by 0. So, what do we mean by when I say that a number is divisible by another number? What do I mean? I mean if I am dividing 2 to 2 by 2, what do I mean? That my number will be 0. If I divide one number by another number, it should give me 0. Then I can say 2 to 2 is divisible by 2. And we found out this 0 only by long division. But what if I just have to look at the number and don't have to do any division and say if this number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or not. So, the, so what will I do? I will follow my rules. So let us go ahead for number 2. Is there any rule for 2? Yes, there is a rule. What is the rule? When I write a number 3, 2, 7, 8, I look at the number which is at 1's place. What digit is at 1's place? It's a 8. Is 8 a even number? Yes, 8 is a even number. So that means this number is divisible by 2. Right? So, what do we have to understand? What do you understand from this? Any number which ends with a even number is divisible by 2. So, what are the even numbers? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. If you have a number, however big that is. See, this, 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 but it is ending. But it is ending with 4. What can I say? This big number is divisible by 2. I don't have to perform the division. I can just look at the last digit and say, yes, it is divisible by 2. I hope that is clear. For number 3, we have an interesting rule. What is it? Suppose my number is this much. Is it divisible by 3? How will I find out? How many digits are there? 4 digits. Right? What are the digits? 1, 3, 4 and 1. Right? I will add all these digits and see what am I getting. 3 plus 1? 4. 4 plus 4? 8. 8 plus 1? 9. Does 9 come in 3 stable? Yes. 3 into 3 gives me 9. Right? That means my number is divisible by 
3. I don't have to do long division but then if you want to see am I saying correct we can just perform the division 3 4s are 12 and I will get one balance again 3 4s are 12 I am getting how much balance 2 balance I will get 1 here 7s are 21 and my remainder is 0 right so this was the rule for number 3 now let us go for number 4 what is the rule for number 4 for number 2 we only checked the number at unit place right for number 3 what did we do we took the sum of digits and then we saw if the result is a multiple of 3 or not for number 4 what are we going to do I will write my number here now what I have to do I just have to check the digits at 1's place and 10's place what is this 3 and 2 which is number 32 is 32 a number a multiple of 4 4 into 8 gives me 32 right so what can I see this number is divisible by 4 you want to check it out 1 3 2 let us try with 4 4 3 is a 12 1 and 2 see I am getting 0 so for 4 what are we doing we are looking at the digits at tens place and ones place and the number which is formed is it a multiple of 4 or not we will do one more example just to make sure that it is easy okay our new number is a big number what is it seven eight zero five six so in tens and ones place we get 56 is 56 divisible by 4 yes 56 is a multiple of 4 so we can find it out 5 6 let us divide by 4 4 ones are 4 I get down 1 I bring down 6 so it becomes 16 4 4s are 16 my remainder is 0 so what can I say this whole big number 78056 is divisible by 4 easy now the next one is divisibility rule for number 5 that you all know it's very easy any number that you get 4 8 5 if in one's place you have a 5 or a 0 the number is divisible by 5 in one's place you should either get 5 or you should get a 0 if you have 5 and 0 that means the number is divisible by 5 if my number is 1 2 3 is it divisible by 5 no because at one's place I have 3 right good ok now for number 6 6 when you hear the number 6 uh, in which table does 6 come 2 into 3 is equal to 6 right 2 into 3 is equal to 6 correct so now if I say 2 ones are 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 oh, 16 18 like that it goes okay and I am writing 3 stable 6 9 12 15 18 and okay let it be now which are common this is common okay then this is common right the way this is common did you observe something 6 1 is 6 6 2 is 12 6 3 is 18 it goes like that so you will observe the, the multiples of 2 and 3 which are common common multiples of 2 or 3 are making your table 6 table is, is it something new 
the common multiples of 2 and 3 makes up the table for 6. So that is the rule for uh, divisibility for number 6 also. If a number is divisible by 2 and 3 then it is divisible by 6. So it is and. Both the rules have to satisfy. Okay, let me just write a number here. Yeah. Is this divisible by 2? Yes. By 2 it is yes. By 3 we will check. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. Is it divisible by 3? No. That means this number is not divisible by 6. Clear? Let us do one more example. 1, 4, 5, 6. It's divisible by 2 because 6 is an even number. How about 3? 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 4, uh, 6 is 16. Is 16 divisible by 3? No. 16 doesn't come in 3's table. Right? So it is not. Um, how about if I make it 8? Let me try to make it 8. Is it divisible by 2? Yes. Now, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 18. I am getting 18 as the sum of digits. Is it divisible by 3? Yes, it is divisible by 3. So, it is divisible by 6. So, the funda is, if a number satisfies the divisibility rule of 2 and the divisibility rule of 3, then it is divisible by 6. You don't have anything new here. Only combination of two rules. Rule for 2 and rule for 3. Perfect. Easy? Okay, so I hope the divisibility rules of 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are clear to you. If you like this video, please do subscribe, share, like and let me know your feedback in the comment section. Bye-bye.